beach in Svava this morning, surrounded by Arctic landscape, Arctic wildlife. But what really caught my attention is this fantastic piece of driftwood. First I thought it was just a log with the remains of the roots. But then I looked more closely and I actually found that this has been worked by people in the past who put in as many as 12 different wooden nails. As a historian and archaeologist, I love finding these unexpected pieces of human activity in this landscape. I'm now extremely interested in the 420 years of hunting in these islands, hunting for whales, walrus, polar bears and arctic fox, and also for reindeer. And I'm wondering, is it possible to find the data, find the catch data of 420 years and retrace the steps, then bringing it all forward again and looking at the, at the impact this hunting had on the environment and what we're seeing now, essentially. What happened over these four centuries and what are we looking at today? I'm always a little bit nervous about being in Svalbard because Svalbard, as beautiful as it is, is also polar bear country. Doing fieldwork in polar bear country is difficult. You never know where one is going to pop up. I'm just a visitor here, but ideally we'd see each other from a distance and just walk different directions. The point I really want to make is that as a historian and archaeologist, I'm in a position to give time depth and reflect on a past that will show us a way for the future.